Hello everyone, Percy number 6 here with the Season 7 update for my series, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Stories. I hope you all enjoyed Season 6 of my series, and in this update I will be talking about countless things that will be coming to my channel, along with ways that you can be involved in my future content. So let's start out with Season 6. Season 6 of my series had a lot of firsts. It was the first season in which I used an intro, the same exact one for each one. Usually I just have Thomas and, you know, go the classic intro, but I decided to change it this time. It's been something I've been thinking about for a while. I'm happy with the change, I really like it, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. Also, on the bad note, this season was the longest one I've ever filmed. It took over a year. And I'd like to apologize for that. It's my fault that it took that long. I had computer problems. I was in the process of switching over from the computer I was using to a Mac. And I was going to do that once I finished Season 6. However, the computer broke down. I need a new motherboard for it. And frankly, if I was going to update to a new one, that just wasn't worth it. So while I learned the process of iMovie, I did some reviews and other videos to keep your time as I switched on. I hated doing that in the middle of the season, but I had no choice. I wanted to make sure my series was of good quality, and that's why it took so long. Hopefully it will never happen again where it takes me over a year to do a series, but I have to tell you guys that I feel terrible that it went down that way, but I really had no other choice. And the last big change was I used a layout. Or, I didn't use a layout, I should say. I instead, I used sets Many people use sets, many people use layouts, just something different for me. I also, towards the end of the season, changed it up. Usually I film late at night, and you can tell in the lighting. I did two things. One, I started filming more during the day so I can use natural light. I also have this desk light that I've been using. I'm actually using it right now, if you can tell. I never do this in my videos, but I guess it doesn't go too far back. I'm up higher. But this is my as far out as I can go. I don't want to move it because if I move this camera, the tripods from 2008 when I first came on YouTube. So a slight movement of this can just ruin the entire video. So I'll keep it this way. But if you probably can see behind that for the track ends, that's how a lot of my layouts or a lot of my sets were. And you probably saw that sometimes. I know a lot of people probably weren't the biggest fans of layouts. And I understand, or my sets, I keep saying layouts. I'm so used to it. Uh, but I understand that, but here's the thing, if I had a layout, no way I would be able to finish Season 6 as quickly as I did. And I say that even though it took a year as quickly as I did, because I would have kept having to take down and rebuild it, just wouldn't have worked out. It worked out well this way. But that's Season 6. This is Season 7. I'll also be talking about countless things of what's to come on my channel. I'll start out by saying this. Season 7 will be the last season of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends of Wooden Railway Stories. I've been working on this for a while. I have plans of it, but there's a lot that's going on my channel before we even touch Season 7. So let's get on to that. After this video, in a week from now, you will be getting my Thomas Wooden Railway collection. Yes, I haven't made a Thomas Wooden Railway collection video since 2011 when I came back. But I thought, you know, it's been five years. I think now's the time to do a new collection. And I always thought I didn't really add much. But looking back, in five years, I've actually accumulated a good amount of new Thomas merchandise. So I think it's time for me to do a new collection video. So again, expect that next week. I'll be doing more reviews. That's going to be the plan. I'll be doing... Uh, some remakes hopefully I've got two new type of videos I haven't seen anybody on YouTube do before so I'm really excited about those I don't want to say anything about them I don't want to give it away so they'll be coming out sooner or later you guys should be excited about that in the meantime while I'm doing all these reviews trust me reviews are so much easier to make than a series so once I'm doing that in my spare time, I'll be working on Branch Line Chronicles. That's right, Branch Line Chronicles. That's my other series I started towards the end of 2015. It's a 13-episode series. I have one episode into it. Basically, at this point, I want to work. I want to put all my time into that. Except, or I shouldn't say all, but a good amount of my time into that. 
Hopefully I'll have at least, at minimum, six episodes made by the end of the summer, preferably all of the season done. That's my minimum. Once summer's over, I'll probably start uploading Branch Line Chronicles Season 1. While that's uploading, I will be working on the movie that's set to come after all that's gone on in Season 6. I know you're probably excited to see what that is. As of now, I will not be giving the title away. I will be doing a trailer for that movie, and in a month from that will be the movie. So this is how it's going to work. When Branch Line Chronicles is being uploaded, I will be working on the movie. And when the movie is being uploaded, even though it's not that long, but in that month from the trailer to the movie, I will be working on season 7 of my series, the final season. Yes, it's coming. I can't believe it's coming, but the final season. Hopefully it'll be out. Hopefully the first episode will be out before the end of the year, but I'm not going to make any promises about that. I'm excited about it. I will say this, Branchline Chronicles, I want to see how you guys react to it. I that That's all I have to say. I, I need to... I'm not so certain about my future with Branchline Chronicles, so I want to see how you guys react to it. And depending on it, I might pull the plug after one season, or if I think you guys really like it, I'll probably keep it going. We'll see what happens. I'm excited to see what's to come of Branchline Chronicles. So Season 7. I promised you guys that you would have some input. In Season 7, there will be multiple ways you can have input. I'll start out with this. In my 12 seasons of Thomas the Tank Engine Friends Wooden Railway Stories, 6 of the original, 6 of the revived, I've taken episode suggestions a few times. And my current Revive series, I did that once uh, in one season. Season 3, I had all episode titles suggested by fans. And I've taken some here and there, but not many. So now, Season 7. This is how I'm going to do it. 15 episodes like always. I'm splitting up into three sections. Five episode titles that I pick, just like the usual. I always pick episode titles, so five of them will be episode titles, brand new ones that I come up with. The other five will be episode titles from my original Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Wooden Railway Stories. Originally I was going to try and do season seven to have all the original or all original episode titles, but the problem with that was for one, really my episode titles weren't that good, and two, I didn't write down every episode title I have. So using way back and just remembering some episode titles, those are the only ways I really know episode titles, so I don't have a lot of great ones to choose from. So I'll only go with five. So those are ten episode titles. The other five will be coming from the viewers, from the fans, the people watching. Yes, for the final season you have a chance to suggest episode titles for my series. This is how I'm going to do it. You will have one month from this episode, uh, for, excuse me, from this video date of upload. If you follow me on Twitter at Percy number six, I have a link in the description like always. You will see me. I will make sure to tweet out that, hey, it's coming up. You want to get your episode suggested if you haven't done so already. And personally, I recommend thinking about it. Don't just do it right away because you want to get it done right away. Think about it. Make sure you have a good episode title because only five people will be picked for their episode titles. That's really not that many. So you want to make sure you give me the best. Here are the rules about it, though. You get one episode title to suggest. That's it. And don't change it. It's the one you get. You can't be like, oh, two weeks later, you can't be like, ah, I don't like that one. I'm changing. Whatever one you go with in your first comment is the one I'm going with. If you suggest multiple titles, that means two or more, your titles will automatically not be picked. It's just fair to everyone if you can only suggest one. If somebody suggests multiple ones and I think that would be a good enough episode title. It's not fair because you had multiple choices to be picked. So everyone gets one. Don't change it. You can only submit them in the comment section. I've done in the past Twitter, you send it to me on the wiki. No, it's just easier if you put in the comment section. The YouTube personal message system screwed up. Uh, Twitter, I'm not going to bother with that because I know a lot of users don't have Twitter. So just leave in the comments below and I will pick the five best ones. Now there is another change and I'm gonna switch to a different view so here we go. 
All right, the second change, a potential change, <sighs> CGI models. I've been contemplating, do I want to do this? It's the final season. I'm definitely not going to do it for Branch Line Chronicles. So if I'm going to do it, it's going to be in this one. I've mainly wanted to possibly replace Thomas because I just love the CGI model of Thomas. Percy's all right. I just don't like his face on TV, to be honest. And that's the face he has in his model. But I decided I'd leave it up to you guys. I want to get your opinion on it. Because I'm not sure what I want to do. And I at least want to hear what you guys have to say. Would you like me to switch to CGI models? There will be two polls in the description that you can go to and vote. One will be, which Thomas would you like me to go with? The current style or the CGI style? And the same question, but replace it with Percy instead of Thomas. Here's the thing. You can vote. You could vote for both CGI Thomas and Percy. Both current style Thomas and Percy, current style Thomas and CGI Percy, CGI Thomas and current Percy. It doesn't matter. Vote whichever you want. But this is how I'm going to look at it. If more pe if there's more votes for CGI Thomas than CGI or than regular style Thomas, then I'll go with that. If there's more votes for CGI Percy than the current Percy, then I'll go with that too. However, if Thomas has his current style and Percy's voted for his CGI style, there'll be none. Basically, if Thomas is voted in a CGI, we'll get Thomas. If Percy is voted in a CGI, we'll get CGI Percy. And from there, I might consider throwing in my CGI Oliver. I have a newer style Edward. It's just things I'm considering. I'm not even sure if I want to do this or not, but I at least want to hear what you guys have to say. So please leave that in the comments below. Before we go, I would like to say this. I've been thinking about everything I've said in this video for a while now, so I already know what I, what I mean when I say this. However, I know my words might not be crystal clear for everyone. So if you have any questions of anything I said whatsoever in this video, please leave in the comments. I'm more than willing to answer your questions. I know I threw out a lot of information in this video, and I just want you to be able to have the best answer you possibly can. So I'll restate what I have in this video in short term. Hopefully you'll be able to understand that way. If you can't, just comment, leave a comment, and I'm willing to answer any questions, really. The plan right now is once this is done, I will have my collection video out next week. From there, you can expect reviews, some remakes. I have two different type of videos I want to make. One's a video that's it's a one of a one-time video. The other one, I can make a few videos out of it. Uh, so those are what I have planned, probably for the summer. After the summer. You can expect season one of Branch Line Chronicles to come out. Once that's done, you'll see a trailer for the upcoming movie involving everything that went on in season six. A month later, you will find the movie, and probably between that time, I'll throw out a review or two or just something to keep you guys busy. And then once the movie is done, we will be moving on to season seven, the final season of Thomas the Tank Engine Friends Wooden Railway Stories. I don't know how long that will take till we get to season 7. Could be before the year is over. Could be in 2017. I don't know. But I, I can say this. Thank you all for watching my series and really any of my videos. I love that so many people on here just enjoy my videos and that's why I keep making them. I'm, I'm trying to get a lot of videos out as I can and I do the best to make them. Trust me, the summer... I'm going to be busier than I am during the school year. I have a 40, 40 hour a week job. It's going to be hard, but I will try to make a good amount of videos in the summer. Like I said, it's easier to make a review than it is an episode. So at least there's a positive with that. But again, thank you all for watching. It's getting long, this video, so I want to end it here. Again, if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. But that's it. Thank you for watching season six. And until next time, this is Percy number six. I'm out. See you later.